Hello, Kules. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Ferran Torres as Gerard Romero is reporting that the 40 million euro rated Barca forward has offers from the Premier League. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, in this episode, we are going to be talking about Frankie de Jong, who have messaged manager Javi, insisting that by no means should they ever sell him amid interest from Bayern Munich. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona are desperate to sell off some players this summer in order to lower their salary mass and generate some much needed revenue. However, their efforts to do so have proved futile thus far. One of the players for whom offers will be studied this summer is misfiring forward Ferran Torres. It has been reported that selling Ferran Torres is a priority for Barcelona this summer and that the club will seek a fee of around 40 million euros for Ferran. Now, Barca-based journalist Gerard Romero reports that Torres already has received offers from the Premier League to be specific. However, the attacker is so reluctant to leave the club, which has blocked the exit. Torres signed for Barca during the January transfer window of 2022, arriving from Manchester City in a deal worth 55 million euros plus add-ons. However, 18 months later, it is safe to say that the investment has not paid off in the way the manager Xavi would have imagined. The Spanish attacker has been largely inconsistent during his time at Barca and is no longer a regular in the team either with Rafinha, Robert Lewandowski, and Usman Dembele ahead of him in the pecking order. Should Vitor Roque arrive, Torres could further slide down the order of preference given his disappointing displays, declining importance, and the need to reduce wages. The Catalans are keen on selling the former Valencia ace, along with fellow attacker Ansu Fati. Newcastle United are said to be interested in Ferran Torres and would be willing to offer around 40 million euros sum that Barcelona seek. Now, Gerard Romero is claiming that Ferran Torres already has proposals to return to the Premier League, but the Spaniard remains firm on his stance of not wanting to leave the club, compounding Barcelona's problems in the transfer market. Unless there are one of one or two big sales, Barca will find it difficult to sign and register new players, which would end up hampering their transfer plans for the rest of the summer. Of course, without player sales, it's not going to be a successful transfer business from all indications. And of course, talk less of registering those players is not going to be possible if Barca don't execute sales. Ferran Torres have been one of those players that we have been talking about quite a lot as to potential exits for Barca. And it's really sad that despite Barca's efforts to convince the player to depart, Ferran Torres continued to push for a stay. And there was a report yesterday claiming that unless Xavi makes an approach to those players like Fati and Ferran to tell them to leave, they are not going anywhere. That is what the players are saying. But nonetheless, I think subsequently, those players will leave. It's just a matter of time. But the thing is, there are some deals that Barca really want those players to leave as soon as possible, ASAP, so that they can go ahead and, you know, go through some deals quite fast. We're talking about players like Marcelo Brozovic, for instance, as Inter Milan, I've already agreed a deal with Anash in Saudi Arabia, but the player has still to say yes or no. He has still to make any decision, which gives Barcelona a lot of hope. But the fact is, Barca are the one causing their own problems. Barca are the one causing their own problems in the sense that Brozovic might be there waiting that Barca should make the move as soon as they can, but Barca and their financial issues don't want to let progress go. Because trying to... Get Brozovic, Barca must at least sell players. 
That's how some reports are saying. Before June 30, before June 30, players should be sold so that Barca can at least hurry, hurriedly make a formal offer for the first time for Brozovic. And from there, maybe the player will likely accept. But nothing has been done so far. Ferran Torres, who has been one of those players who have been misfiring all throughout last season, is refusing that he doesn't want to leave. He believes that next season will be better than, than last season. Same as players like Ansu Fati, you know. Frankisi too is also laying. Players like uh, Clement Langlet, those ones were on loan. They are likely to be sold. Sergio Des, Nico Gonzalez. I mean, there are a lot of players that Barca can cash in on. But are they going to succeed in all of them? That's the big question. We need them to leave. Because the club now is in a dire situation financially where if they don't take some brutal decisions, I think it's going to haunt us. It's not going not, not just for this summer, but next season we are going to feel the effect. So we hope that Barca can ensure that those sales take place this summer unfailingly. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Last night, reports emerged claiming that the possibility of Barcelona selling Frankie de Jong this summer cannot be ruled out if a special offer comes along. Frankie de Jong has grown into one of the most pivotal members of Xavi's team and is considered among the untouchables as it stands. But given the situation as it is on the financial front, it was suggested that any big offers for the Dutchman could be entertained. However, Sport is now saying that De Jong has no desire to depart and will not even listen or entertain offers if they do arrive. Frankie maintained a similar stance on his future last summer as well, and he did turn out Manchester United, who had reached agreement already with Barca, over a transfer. And now that he has tasted that success with the club, Frankie De Jong once more and has no intentions of leaving Barca, where he is now very happy. Why Manchester United continue to be admirers? More recently, Bayern Munich have also shown interest in his services of late. But Frankie de Jong is, um, is least been interested in studying any offers that may arrive for him in the summer. At the same time, despite some reports suggesting otherwise, Barca do not intend to sell Frankie either, when though the financial situation remains complicated. He is among several players in that team who continue to be considered non-transferable and that won't change. Instead, Barcelona will continue to try and offload other players such as the returning Lonis as well as some of the first-team players who had limited roles last season, the likes of Ferran, Ansu, potentially Frankisi as well. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.